We're back on your Feel Good Breakfast show and when it comes to our natural menstrual cycles, we all have different experience of period cramps. Now it seems that bloating, cramps and irritability are something many of us expect and plan for, but we really stop and think what actually causes them and why are they necessarily part of our cycle? Well, here to answer all of those questions, we welcome back gynecologist and obstetrician, Dr. Jason Bennett. Welcome back to Expresso. Thanks, Zoe. You know what, this is a very interesting conversation. Now, Dr. Bennett, a lot of us don't really think of what are some of the symptoms and causes behind period pain. We just accept it. Yeah, so good question, Zoe. Thanks for having me back. And yeah, so some of the symptoms of, of dysmenorrhea is, is pain, and this is a dull, aching pain in your lower abdomen, and it can radiate to your thighs, it can also radiate to your lower back. Mm. But there are some other symptoms as well, such as dizziness, headaches, nausea and vomiting, and occasionally some diarrhea. With regards to the causes of dysmenorrhea, it um, depends if it's primary dysmenorrhea, meaning there isn't really a, a medical cause, or secondary if we have a cause, but Primary dysmenorrhea, the most common, um, is caused by the release of this naturally occurring substance called prostaglandins. Mm. And what prostaglandins do is that they cause the muscle of the uterus and the blood vessels of the uterus to contract and cause pain. Well, that was actually going to be my next question. That was the hormone you spoke about last week that causes the pain. Is there anything we can do to prevent that? Well, yes, thank goodness there is. <laughs> um, you can use something called a non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drug, um, such as brufen. And what this does is it decreases the amount of prostaglandin and thereby decreases the amount of menstrual pain. For people that, you know, I, I was always told that when it's that time of the month and you've got cramps, you need to put a hot water bottle on it. Some people find that extremely soothing. For me, it's actually the complete opposite. Is there a reason why heat is it plays such a different role for some people when it comes to treating pain? Everyone is completely different. And I think when you are trying to address your own painful periods, you have to kind of find what works for you. Mm -hmm. And different treat there are different treatments for different people. Um, for example, um, what I always say is someone should start by tracking their period. So getting an app and we can work out when your periods will start happening and you can, can kind of start to predict them, okay. all right? Um, some of the next things that, that I always suggest is basic analgesia, such as a non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drug like brufen. Mm -hmm. We can also use the birth control, so the pill, the patch, or the ring. There are some intrauterine devices uh, that are available that have got hormones implanted in them that are really, can really help with painful periods. But then there are some alternative therapies as well that are often advised. So good relaxation technique, techniques, meditation, yoga, mindfulness, good aerobic exercise is great. Um, having a good diet, having enough sleep. Mm -hmm. um, as you said, hot, um, heat compressors or putting a hot water bottle um, on the abdomen can definitely help some people. Don't make it too hot and don't fall asleep with it. <laughs> <laughs> but if it works for you, then that's, that's a great treatment. Amazing. Well, Dr. Bennett, thank you so much for joining us this morning and unpacking and really giving us all the great tips and tricks if you are suffering from heavy periods. With Brufin, there is help relief those menstrual cramps suffering at that time of the month. Every month doesn't have to be as bad and as uncomfortable. Targets pain caused by menstrual cramps. Brufin works where it hurts.